my name is Carrie Voss, and I'm curator of exhibits here at Historic Arkansas Museum. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a new exhibit, Conspicuous Consumption. And I'd like to share with you a little bit about how we make aesthetic decisions when we design an exhibit. Um, one of our favorite objects in this exhibit and its corresponding uh, detail is this beautiful corner cupboard. This is an Arkansas made item. It was created in the 1840s by an artisan who had come over from Europe and he stayed with um, the Wilbanks family in Conway County and in exchange for room and board he produced this beautiful corner cupboard for their house. Um, and whenever we create an exhibit for him, we always begin with the theme or the story, in this case, conspicuous consumption. So what were the items that were available to Arkansans in the early to mid 19th century that would show that they were wealthy or had status? Um, the kind of keeping up with the Joneses of the 19th century. And one of those items is wallpaper. I know it seems kind of weird, but wallpaper was kind of like a Chanel bag or a Louis Vuitton. Um, it was something that if you had fine wallpaper in your home, people knew that you had class and you had taste. So for this item, instead of exhibiting just the corner cupboard alone as an item, and it is absolutely stunning itself, we wanted to show you what it would have looked like in the Wilbanks home in approximately the 1840s. And so we started doing research based on the object, which is how we do all of our exhibits. Everything is based on the object. And we looked at what wallpapers were available in Arkansas in approximately the 1830s to the 1850s. Victoria, the curator of collections, did research on newspapers.com and discovered that in New Orleans, several wonderful wallpapers were advertised. And anything that was available in New Orleans would have been available in Little Rock because the Mississippi was the highway of the 19th century. And so what we found is this type of wallpaper is called irise. And that's um, a French term that refers to this kind of rainbow effect. And so the rainbow effect was created whenever the wallpaper producer, who would have been using a wood block, would have inked with a, uh, a tempera paint. It's kind of a, a thickish um, uh, kind of water-based paint. Um, he would have inked the block with blue, yellow, and white. And then when he pressed the block on the paper, they would have kind of smooshed together and created this beautiful gradation, a rainbow effect. And um, that idea and process originated in France in order to sort of mimic the look of the luster of silk. Because in France, people who were very wealthy, instead of using paper on their walls, they would have used silk. And so this kind of shine that you get almost from the white is meant to um, mimic the sheen of a silk wall. Um, this paper was produced by Adelphi Wall Hangings. Um, they are one of the very few artisan wallpaper producers um, left in America. And they produce wallpaper exactly the way it was made in the 1850s. Um, this pattern was based on a pattern, uh, a, a sample of wallpaper that was sourced from the historic New England collection, which has thousands of actual samples of period wallpaper. And Adelphi created this wallpaper based on a wallpaper that was found in New York State in the 1830s. So this is pretty much as close as you can get to seeing what real wallpaper would have looked like in an actual Arkansas home accompanied by a beautiful Arkansas-made object. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please come and visit this exhibit and all of our wonderful exhibits at Historic Arkansas Museum in downtown Little Rock. We are open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday 1 to 5. We look forward to seeing you very soon.